Rupam Vaishnavamsa Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Ravunathan Tam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sagana Nitta Shri Vishakhan Vitamsa O Magyana Tiviranda Svetyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Britam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namahan First of all, I have been in some obeisances to Lotus Feet of Asmati Guru Pad Padma Little of Prestige at Guru Shisha and Bhakti Danda Narayan Gosai Maharaj Randy Swami Shisha and Bhakti Danda Dandi Maharaj Nam Nishta Santa Shri Anirudhas Prabhuji All the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas are gathered here to accept my humble obeisances so we are discussing Madhuri Kadamdini. Ruchi pertains to bhajan and asakti pertains to bhajaniya. Atasaiva bhajana vishaya ruchi parama praudatama sati yada bhajaniyam bhagavantam vishayi karoti tadeyam asaktir iti akhyayate. Yaiva bhakti kalpa valyaha Stavaki bhavam asadayanti bhav premani pushpa phale achirat eva bhavini dyotayati ruchir bhajana vishaya asaktir bhajaniya vishayati bhumnaiva vyapadesha vasutthaha Tuve api uvayam vishayi karoti eva a proudhatva proudhatva bhyam eva veda. Ruchi, transcendental test, which was previously discussed, pertains to bhajan. When Ruchi becomes highly mature and makes Shri Bhagavan himself the object of bhajan, the bhajaniya, that Ruchi is known as asakti. This asakti represents the stage in the growth of the wish-fulfilling vine of devotion in which clusters of birds appear, indicating that very soon this wish-fulfilling vine will produce the flower of bhava and the fruit of prema. Ruchi makes bhajan developing a mood of devotional service its object. Whereas Asakti makes bhajani as Sri Krishna the goal of bhajan, its object. Although these characteristics denote the primary objects of Ruchi and Asakti, respectively, Ruchi and Asakti do in fact include both Bhajan and Bhajaniya as their objects. Ruchi and Asakti are distinguished by their maturity, Ruchi being immature and Asakti mature. Srila Vishnachikri Thakur is now describing the symptoms of the stage of Asakti. Ruchi, whose object is Bhajan, is inclined toward the limbs of bhajan such as shravan and kirtan when that ruchi matures and makes bhagavan her object she is known as asakti the devotee who possesses ruchi naturally relishes performing the limbs of bhajan such as shravan and kirtan whereas the devotee who possesses asakti experiences all an awakening of direct attachment to his worshipful deity a cluster of birds is visible on a vine just before it blossoms with flowers and bears fruit. Such birds indicate soon flowers and fruits will appear on the vine. Likewise, the appearance of this asakti indicates that very quickly the sadhaka's desire creeper of devotion, Bhakti Galbalata, will yield the flower of bhava and the fruit of prema. Ruchi pertains to bhajan, whereas asakti pertains to bhajaniya. The object of bhajan, Shri Bhagwan. In other words, the principal object of Ruchi is bhajan and the principal object of asakti, Shri Bhagwan. The symptoms of Ruchi and asakti have been distinguished by this alone. In reality, both Ruchi and asakti have devotional service, bhajan and Bhagwan, bhajaniya as their objects. The import is that although it is true that a devotee at the stage of Ruchi has a taste of has a taste for bhajan, it does not mean 
he has no attachment asakti to shri bhagwan still his ruchi for bhajan predominates over his attachment to bhagwan in the same way it is not true that a devotee at the stage of asakti who has developed a strong attachment to shri bhagwan does not maintain test for bhajan it is just that at that time the prominent element is attachment to bhagwan thus both ruchi and asakti may both bhajan and bhajaniya their objects in other words a taste for devotional practice bhajan or ruchi depends on attachment or attraction to bhagwan bhagwan asakti and attachment to bhagwan depends on a taste for devotional practice this can be illustrated as follows one cannot develop attachment to bhagwan without possessing a taste for devotional practice and one cannot develop a taste for devotional practice without having attachment to bhagwan hence asakti is the fully ripened state of ruchi at the stage of asakti the heart is like a clean mirror asakti एवंतकरणः मुकुरं तथा मार्जयति यथा तत्र सहसा प्रतिबिंबो प्रतिबिंबितो भगवान अवलोक्यवान इव भवति आसक्ति क्लेंजेस द मिरर ऑफ द हार्ट ऑफ द साधक टू सच एन एक्सटेंड दैट व्हेन भगवानस रिफ्लेक्शन सडनली मैनिफेस्ट इन हिज हार्ट the sadhaka feels that he is having bhagwan's direct audience this very asakti thoroughly cleanses the mirror of the devotee's heart chitta to such an extent that bhagwan who is reflected in it appears to be directly visible before the practitioner bhagwan is extremely close to the living entities residing in their heart but from time immemorial the dirt of the desire for sense gratification as solid the mirror of the heart and as a result it cannot reflect the charming sweetness of madhur jab shri hari when asakti awakens that mirror is cleansed significantly shri hari is reflected there and is pursued as if directly with the eyes effortless absorption of the mind is bhagwan's name form etc hant vishayer akramyate मदीयम इदम भगवती मिति भक्तस्य एव प्रायो निष्क्रम्य तदूपगुणाद यवेशील पूर्वदास्यम पूर्व निष्क्रम्य वर्तरे चेत इति प्राप्त निष्ठे नापी भक्तेन नानुसंधा शक्य तथा वर्ता निष्क्रम्य भगवतुणादीषु कदा प्रविष्ट स्वचे आसक्तिर्नासक्त न लक्ष्यते आसक्ति मता भक्त तो तलक्ष्यते अलास मै मैंड हेज बीन ओवरवेल बै से ऑब्जेक्ट्स i must focus it again on shri bhagwan previously at the stage of nishtha and ruchi only when the sadhaka's desire was accomplished by such active resolve could he almost fully withdraw his mind from material sense objects and could focus and focus it on meditating on the forms qualities and so forth of shri bhagwan upon the awakening of asakti however even before the devotee desires it that very same mind automatically meditates on bhagwan's forms and qualities the devotee at the stage of nishtha finds himself unable to trace how and when his mind has wandered away from bhagwan's forms qualities and so on 
and become lost in unrelated mundane topics and at asakti the mind in imperceptibly withdraws from matters unrelated to bhagwan and automatically absorbs itself in contemplating bhagwan's forms qualities etc this kind of attachment is unknown to a devotee in whose heart asakti has been awakened only a devotee endowed with asakti has experience of it piyush varshne prati the stage of asakti possesses another feature that distinguishes it from the stage of ruchi at the stage of ruchi the sadhaka uses his intelligence to draw his mind away from sense objects and place it again at the lotus feet of bhagwan but at the stage of asakti the sadhaka's mind becomes absorbed in bhagwan very easily without any endeavor no doubt for the sadhaka this is a desirable stage the devotee endowed with nishtha is not aware of when his mind <clears throat> digresses from bhagwan's names forms qualities and pastimes and becomes absorbed in extraneous topics unrelated to bhagwan similarly at asakti the mind imperceptibly withdraws from topics unrelated to bhagwan and becomes completely immersed in bhagwan shri hari's names forms qualities and pastimes one in whom asakti has not awakened however has no understanding of this only someone endowed with asakti can know it one should thus comprehend that at the stage of asakti meditation on bhagwan's forms qualities and so on, so forth is more intensified than at the stage of ruchi shri jeevo goswami writes in his commentary on bhakti rasamrita sindhu 1.4.15 and 16 ruchir avilasha kintu buddhi purvikeyam asaktistu swarasiki sabhavikiti artha this means at the stage of ruchi by way of his intelligence buddhi purvaka the sadhaka pursues three desires a desire to do which is favorable to shri krishna anukulya vilash a desire to serve bhagwan with intimacy sauharda vilash number 3 a desire to attain bhagwan bhagavat prapti vilash at the stage of asakti however these three desires are inspired naturally or spontaneously number 2a the behavior of one in asakti upon seeing a sadhu tatasya pratah कुतस्तो अभी भो भो कंठलंबित श्री शालग्रामशीला सुंदर संपुटो लघु लघु चरित लघु लघु चारित श्री कृष्ण नामृत स्वाद प्रतिक्षण लोलित रसन प्रेक्षमाण एव दुर्भग मां उल्लसयसी कस्मिंशित अर्थे तत्कथय कुत्र कुत्र वा तीर्थे भ्रमन केशां दृष्ट्या केशां वा भगवत अनुभव नानाम आप आस्पदी भवन आत्मानम अन्यम चाकृतार्थाख्य इति उद्भावित संलापामृत पान यापित कतिपय क्षण ऑन सींग अंटली पर्सन इन द मॉर्निंग सच डिवोट इनक्वायर्स डीएसएच वेर यू हेल्प फ्रॉम अराउंड यू नेक हैंग्स यू शालिग्राम शीला इन अ ब्यूटिफुल फ्लोरल केस your tongue constantly quivers as you softly utter the holy name of sri krishna and relish its nectar i do not know why you are giving a person 
as unfortunate as I, your darshan, thus filling me with delight. Which holy places did you visit on your pilgrimage? Which great souls did you have darshan of there? And who were the great devotees whose realizations you heard, by which you have made your life and the lives of others successful? In this way, he spends some time drinking the nectar that such sweet discussions arouse. Piyush Vashnivritti, Srila Vishnajagri Thakur provides an unparalleled and extremely beautiful picture of the activities of a devotee who has attained the stage of Asakti. Upon the awakening of Asakti, that devotee becomes exceedingly eager to obtain his cherished object. He cannot stay in any one place and leaves his home to wander here and there. Upon obtaining the darshan of a Vaishnava Sadhu, he deems his life successful and with intense faith and affection makes various inquiries about bhajan. To be speaking to the reciter of Srimad Bhagavatam. Punaranyato gatva bho kakshani kshipta manohara pustaka vilakshana vilakshanaya shriya vidwan evanumiyase tad vyachakshva dashamas kandiyam padyam ekam jivaya shruti chatakim tad arthamrata vrishtya iti tad vyakhya romanjita gatra. Thereafter he goes to another place and upon seeing a reciter of Srimad Bhagavatam speaks to him thus, Dear Sir, noticing the remarkable, beautiful, remarkable beauty of the book tucked under your arm, I am assuming that you are learned in the Puranas such as Srimad Bhagavatam. Therefore, please be merciful to me and rejuvenate my Chataka bird-like ears by showering upon me a nectarian elucidation of just one of the verses from the 10th canto. Upon hearing the reciter explain the Srimad Bhagavatam verse, the hairs of his body stand on end. Piyusha Varshnivrti. Sometimes upon seeing a narrator of Srimad Bhagavatam, in hearing him recite and explain a verse from the 10th canto in relation to Sri Krishna's sweetness, the devotee at the stage of asakti experiences unsurpassed happiness and the hair on his body stands on end. Ruchi in its condensed form becomes asakti. Thus the devotee with asakti experiences an awakening of an intensified taste for hearing the narrations of Sri Krishna's pastimes. Submission of distress upon receiving darshan of Mahabharat. Unar Anyato Gatva Hanta Dhunaiva Vaham Kurdarthi Bhavishyami Yadiyam Savaiva Sadya Eva Mama Samasta Dushkruta Dhamsiniti Virachito Dandavat Avani Pranipata Purasara Pranati Vinadikaha Tat Sabha Mukuta Manina Mahabhagavata Varena Parama Vidusha Sarasam Adriyamanaha Sankuchita Tanus Tat Antika Krutopa Vesha Eva Vo Tribuna Chiva Bhavanam Mahabhava Ruga Vishaka Shiromane Dritvaiva Tavanim Andhama Syapi Me Mahadinasya Nirupasya Rujam Samadhisha Sava Samadhishaswa Pathoshade Kenapi Prayuktena 
महा रसायनेन मद अभिपसितम मद अभिपसितम पुष्टिम अपि संपादयति शास्त्रम याचमानस तद कृपावलोक मधुरवान मयामृत निस्यन्द नन्दितस तचरण परिचरण नीत पंचशर वासर भवानुवाद ही देन गोस टू येट अनदर प्लेस एट बजन हिमसेल बिफोर एन असेंबली ऑफ साधुस अहो ही सेज नाउ माय लाइफ विल बिकम सक्सेसफुल बिकॉज देर बिकॉज दिस ग्रेट सोल्स विल इमीडिएटली डिस्ट्रॉय ऑल माय सिंस saying this he falls to the earth offering those great souls his respectful prostrated obeisances in all humility the devotee then sits near the best of mahabhagavats the supremely learned creature of all persons in that assembly whose heart has melted in affection for him having received respect from that mahabhagavat the devotee feeling extreme shyness says o crest jewel of physicians who destroy the great disease of material existence for all living entities within the three worlds please examine the pulse of this degraded person who is extremely fallen and ascertain my disease please prescribe a great elixir maharasayan and diet to nourish my cherished desires in this way his eyes full of tears he begs mercy from him having received his merciful glance and accepted his nectarian instructions he becomes overjoyed and spends five or six said days there serving his lotus feet sometimes his mind becomes distracted and he wanders off to another place upon coming across an assembly of saintly persons he immediately considers that he has made his life successful indeed he regards the topmost of sadhus in that vaishnava assembly as a crest jewel of physicians who can destroy the great disease of material existence his mind thus restless he approaches him and ask many questions concerning the medicine and diet to cure the disease of material existence and how he can most quickly fulfill his cherished desire having heard the sadhus merciful instructions he considers himself most successful and remains there for some days engaging in service to him the asakti brimming in his heart however does not allow him to remain in one place where do i go what shall i do how shall i obtain sri krishna his condition becomes like this searching for bhagwan's mercy in the activities of birds and animals sarasam atan api कदाचि अटव्य यदि मयि वर्तते कृष्णस्य कृपावलोकस तदायम दुरतः पुरे अवलोक्यमानः कृष्णसारस त्रिचतुराणि पदानि मद अभिमुखम आयातु नचेन माम पृष्ठी करो तो इति नैसर्गिकीर अपि मृग पशु पक्षी चेष्टास्तद अनुग्रह निग्रह लिंगत लिंग तैव जानन एट अदर टाइम्स एज ही जॉयफुली वांडर्स थ्रूआउट अ फॉरेस्ट ही थिंक्स इफ श्री कृष्णस मर्सीफुल ग्लांस इज अपॉन मी and that black deer in the distance 
will take three or four steps towards me. And if Sri Krishna's mercy is not there, then a deer will turn its back on me and go further away. In this way, he considers even the natural movements of birds and animals as signs of Bhagavan's mercy or neglect. Yushvashnavrti. Sometimes completely distracted, he wanders from forest to forest. Upon beholding a black deer, he thinks, Oh, this deer aptly called Krishna Sam has made Sri Krishna the essence of his life. Therefore, if he advances three or four steps towards me, then I will understand that Sri Krishna's mercy is upon me. And if he turns away and runs, then I'll understand Sri Krishna's mercy is not upon me. In this way, he sees the symptoms of so here actually the footnote is Krishna Sar is a particular type of deer. But here the devotee takes Krishna to mean Sri Krishna and Sar means to Sar to mean essence, editors. In this way he sees the symptoms of Bhagavan's mercy or neglect in the natural activities of birds and other animals. In other words, he longs for Bhagavan's mercy in everything. Seeing some Brahmana boys as the four Kumaras. Gramopa Shalle Api Khenato Vipra Balakan Sanakadin Ivakim Aham Vrajendra Kumaram Prapsyami Iti Prushtva Tad Dattam Uttamam Meti Mugdhaksharam Durbodha Arthataya Subodha Arthataya Va Paramrasya Bhavanavad. Again, on the outskirts of a village, he sees some Brahman boys playing, understanding them to be like Sanak and other Rushis, inquires from them Will I be able to obtain the son of Sri Nanda Maharaj? Sometimes he considers their incomplete, inarticulate responses to be understandable and sometimes not. Vritti. Sometimes on the outskirts of a village, he may see very young Brahman boys playing. Instantaneously a Spurti, momentary vision of the four childlike saints, the four Kumaras headed by Sri Sanak Muni, awakens in his heart and he begins to question these boys. Will I obtain Sri Krishna? If upon hearing this question, any of the boys even indistinctly says no, then the devotee with asakti will become overwhelmed with distress and begin to weep. Alas, alas. But if upon seeing him willing, someone says, you will certainly attain Sri Krishna, he begins to dance in ecstasy. Behaving like a miserly merchant. Swagruha Madhya Madhya Sayapi Mahadhana Grudno Krupana Vanigaiva Kwaham Yami Kim Karomi Kena Vyaparena Me Tad Abhishtavastu Jatam Hastadam Sad Iti Vadanas Chintayan Swapan Uttishthan Upavesham Parijanahi Karanam Prichamano Api Kadachin Mukhaiva Kadachit Avastitoham Alam Bhavanaha at other times, he sits in his dwelling and thinks just like a miserly merchant who hankers for immense wealth. Where shall I go? What shall I do? How shall I obtain my cherished treasure? He worries in this way, his face full of sadness, and sometimes he remains asleep. Sometimes he stands up and sometimes he remains sitting. Sometimes if close family relatives ask, 
why is he behaving so strangely? He becomes mute and sometimes he conceals his real emotions. Sometimes becoming indifferent to everything, he sits silently within his house. At times he is like a miserly merchant, greedy for great wealth. His restless mind wondering, when will I obtain Bhagwan? Where will I go? What do I have to do to obtain my cherished object? Anxious, his mind depressed, is lost in this constant meditation. He even forgets to attend to bodily functions like eating and bathing. Sometimes he remains sleeping, sometimes he suddenly stands up, and sometimes he remains sitting at home. When his relatives ask him why he is behaving like this, he maintains silence in an attempt to conceal his emotions. 2G. The opinions of various persons about one in Asakti. Sampradam Abhut Ayam Chan Buddhiriti Banduvi Sohavata Evayam Jadaiti Prativeshivir Adnir Murkhaiti Mimam Sikai Brahantaiti Vedantivi Prashtiti Karmivir Aho Maha Saram Pastu Samadhi Gatamiti Bhaktair Dambi Gaiti Tatra Paradivi Paramrishamana Mana Pamana Vichar Vidro Bhagavad Asakti Swartuni Pravaha Patita Eva Cheshtate Bhaktaiti Iti Madhuri Kadam Binyam Manoharini Nama Shashti Ambrutavarshi Vrishti Seeing him in such a condition, his friends and relatives begin to think that his intelligence has now become deranged. Ignorant neighbors say that by nature is mentally unfit or dull. The adherents of Mimamsaka philosophy say that he is a fool. The followers of Vedanta the philosophy refer to him as bewildered. And the fruity workers declare that he is ruined. The devotees, however, understand the true state of affairs. Ah, just see, he has obtained the most essential thing, they say. Offenders to the Vaishnavas remark that he breams with deceit and pride. But he, the best of the devotees, is free from all concern for mundane honor and dishonor. And being immersed in the flow of divine attachment to Bhagwan. Bhavad Asakti, which is like the flow of Mandakini, he, he continues to manifest different kinds of transcendental behavior as mentioned above. Thus ends the Bhavanuvad of the sixth shower of nectar named Manoharini, enchantment of the heart. Piyushavashnibhati. His household, friends and relatives begin to think that his intelligence has become deranged. When ignorant neighbors see his behavior, they say that he is lazy and by nature devoid of knowledge and intelligence. Some surprise, some surmise that he is mentally ill. The followers of Mimamsa philosophy who are expert in argument regard him as a fool. The Mayavadi follower of Vedanta consider him to be mistaken and those who are steadfast on the path of karma, the fruity workers, believe he is ruined. Those who are always committing offenses to the devotees say he is proud and duplicitous. The erroneous beliefs of these people originate from their mode of aversion to Bhagavan and their complete ignorance of the truths of devotional service to him. 
Bhagavad Bhakti Tattva. They are unaware of the glories of Bhakti to Bhagavan and the characteristics of Bhakti. And they are unacquainted with the different stages of Bhakti to Bhagavan. They are accomplished only in the worldly behavior and etiquette. Sometimes they attempt to measure by their limited intelligence truths that are beyond the scope of their limited sense perception. Mind intelligence, mind intelligence. Suddenly, Mayavadis are offenders to the Supreme Lord. What do they know of the wonderful varieties of bliss released by devotee? They are themselves mistaken and confused, and they therefore look upon the devotees of Bhagwan as similarly mistaken and confused. In fact, the whole world seems to be an illusion to them. Only a jeweler can recognize a diamond and not a potter or one who deals in cooking oil. Similarly, only the devotees of Bhagwan who know bhakti, tattva, the truth of devotion to Bhagwan, can recognize one endowed with asakti. They can appreciate that this greatly fortunate person has arranged the most essential thing, devotion to the Supreme Lord. And that now his life has become successful. Besides the devotees of Bhagavan, no one else can recognize the supremely fortunate soul in whose in whom Asakti has arisen. Indifferent to honor and dishonor, the person remains immersed in the current of the Mandakini river of attachment to the Supreme Lord Bhagavad Asakti. Manifesting various types of behavior, he gradually advances towards the great ocean of Prima. Thus ends the Piyushavarshini Vritti on the sixth shower of nectar named Manoharini, enchantment of the heart. So next one is seventh shower of nectar, flow of divine rapture, Bhava Bhakti. So this uh, is a very nice chapter also. Bhava, the sprouting of three potencies, Sat, Chit, and Ananda. So we'll discuss this chapter next time. Uh, I really appreciate all of you uh, for um, attending this class. Uh, we learned something about Asakti, the qualities of Asakti. So next class, uh, we'll discuss uh, this particular chapter, chapter 7, called Seventh Shower of Nectar called Bhava. We are on page number, you can say 350 or 351, 352. Huh? Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. One Krupa Asana Vacha Pratanam Bhavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namano. Hare Krishna. 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 Thank you so much. Uh, dear devotees, anyone has any questions? You can please raise yes. your hands. Unmute yourself. Maran, so you said. 352 page. Yes, 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 yes. We are on. Uh, that is Bhagavad We are bringing in a new, new chapter, Seven Shower of Nectar, the flow, the flow of divine rapture. Because uh, we'll be Bhava Bhakti is compared to a flower, and Prema Bhakti is compared to the fruit of that creeper, uh, and Asakti is like a bird. Uh, so we are uh, now moving on to the Bhava Bhakti. Uh, so that we'll discuss in next class. Huh? That is the seventh shot of nectar, Bhav Bhakti. Okay. Yes. So three fifty two. Okay. So Maj, uh, we'll see you tomorrow, and then we'll yes, see yes. you on Monday, and then yes. on Monday you let us know if you're coming on Tuesday. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, yes. Okay. Tuesday, so Monday, much. Tuesday, I'll be traveling. But uh, oh. tomorrow I'll definitely attend uh, this Bhagavad Gita okay. class. Okay, Hare then Krishna. we'll be next week, Wednesday, which we have a free day. Achha, okay, um, all right. Uh, you let me, okay, you let me know, much. Thank you so much. Sure, sure. Uh, sure. Okay. Hare Krishna. Jai Hatangas. Jai Hatangas. Jai Hatangas. Anang Mantra is there. Anang Mantra, please give Jai Dhani. Thank you.
श्री गुरु गोरंग गंधर विका गिरिधारी राध विनोद बिहारी जी की जय ओम विष्णु पार स्तोत्र छत शिष्य मठ भक्ति की विदंत विष्णु देवी गोसाई महाराज की जय ओम विष्णु पार स्तोत्र शिष्य मठ भक्ति विदंत दंडी गोसाई महाराज की जय नित्य विष्णु विष्णु भक्ति विदंत नारायण गोसाई महाराज की जय नित्य विष्णु विष्णु छत शिष्य मठ भक्ति विदंत वामन गोसाई महाराज की जय नित्य विष्णु विष्णु छत शिष्य मठ भक्ति विदंत स्वामी महाराज की जय नित्य विष्णु विष्णु शिष्य मठ भक्ति प्रज्ञान केशव गोस्वामी महाराज की जय नित्य प्रविष्ट विष्णु सुशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रभु पाठ की जय नित्य प्रविष्ट गौर किशोर दास बाबा जी महाराज की जय नित्य प्रविष्ट भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर की जय नित्य प्रविष्ट वैष्णव सुशील जगन्नाथ दास बाबा जी महाराज की जय श्री गौजी वेदंत भूषण प्रभु की जय शिला विष्णु चक्रवी ठाकुर की जय ंद मंत्र दीप गोद्रम दीप मध्य दीप कोला दीप ऋतु दीप जानू द्वीप मोद्रा ध्रुम दीप रुद्र दीप पत्म काशी नवदीप धाम की जय शिष्य राधा कृष्ण गोपाल गोपी गो गोवर्धन द्वादश नंद मका श्री वज मंदिर की जय श्री राधा कुंड श्याम कुंड गंगा यमुना तुलासी पति देवी की जय श्री मती वृंद देवी की जय श्री पूर्णमास योग माय की जय श्री गोपी शिवर महादेव नाथ बलदेव सुभद्रा सुदर्शन चक्र जीव की जय श्री चैतन्य की जय नविनाशकारी श्री नरसिंह देव की जय भक्त प्रभाम की जय चार संप्रदाय की जय चार चार की जय आकाश चैतन्य मात की जय शिशि के शिव जी गौरी मत समा की जय ग्रंथ राज श्रीमत बाग जय शरी नाम संकीर्तन की जय अनंत कोटि वैश्व गात भक्त बिंद की जय श्री तय गौर प्रेम नंद हरि हरि बोल हरि हरि जय शरण मधु की जय हरे कृष्ण Sure, sure, and sure, pray sure. for all of us, Maharaj. Definitely, definitely, I will, I will, I will. 